Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. So I've been looking at brisket prices lately, and my local food store, uh, Weiss Markets, has choice on sale for $6.99 a pound, and that's just too much. Um, it's like $89 for, for the full thing. So anyway, went looking around, and I found Wild Pork Foods near me, free delivery, and it was uh, $4.95 a pound for Prime. And it might have been like $3.95 for choice. <clears throat> so I figured I get the prime one, save a bunch of money, and uh, see how it goes. So I'm pretty sure they deliver frozen. But I got the box here, ordered it yesterday. Uh, came delivered today with uh, Rody. And um, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, what's in there? Oh, got some ice in there, dry ice. And then a frozen brisket. So 13.83 pounds, USDA Prime. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge and uh, give it a couple days to thaw out, and then we'll cook it up. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's got, um, it says it's aged prime beef, aged for a minimum of 17 days, boneless beef brisket, USDA prime. So yeah, just about 14 pounds. All right, we'll see you in a couple days once it's all thawed out. Hey guys, it's now been three full days since I got my Wild Fork brisket. And it's all thawed out. Had it in the fridge. Um, now we're gonna do, trim it up and get it ready to put on the smoker. Uh, I wanna put it on there around 5 p.m. Let that go all night. Check it tomorrow morning, see where we're at. All right, we've got it trimmed down pretty good. I'm no expert brisket trimmer. Actually, probably only done about three or four briskets in my life, but it's pretty good. There's still a little bit of silver skin on here, but you know what, the temp is starting to get a little bit warmer. Uh, so you want this as cold as possible when you're trying to cut, cut the fat off of these guys. Uh, today we're just gonna use some Lean Perrins Worcestershire as a binder. And we're just gonna use salt and pepper. This is kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. Just, uh, we're just doing 50-50. Boom. Oh, 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 there's a thing under the lid. I don't know how I missed that when I uh, filled it up. Anyway. I'm gonna go on pretty thick.
as my man Everett says, don't forget about those sides. Yeah, fat's a little bit thick on the other, the other side in some spots, but it will be all right. I got most of it. Should be good to go. Let's get that thing fired up. All right, today we're going to be using some uh, pecan wood. Um, it's pretty low here in the hopper, so I was going to go ahead and throw some in here first. I don't have very many big chunks left. We'll throw some in here too, though. Keep those on the left-hand side. And we want to top it off. That way, when are we going to try to get as much, uh, much time out of it as we can? Light this guy up. All right, we'll give that a few minutes. Then we'll kick it on. Right, it's been a few minutes. Go ahead and close this guy up. And we're gonna set the temp to, let's go 200. Once it's, uh, once it hits temp, we'll go ahead and throw the brisket on and uh, say goodnight to it. All right, we hit 200. Let's get this guy on. All right, this is a pretty big guy. Gonna go ahead, put them on right like that. All right, just gonna throw this guy here. We'll keep an eye on it, but probably won't even do anything uh, for a little while. Let it go. Maybe spray it a little bit later. Hey, we're rocking along at about 200 degrees. Uh, it's actually about 208 right now. Uh, it's going going uh, four hours. Where is it? There's there. Five hours. We're going five hours so far. Uh, let's take a look. Ooh, look at it. It's looking pretty nice. Got a nice little bark going on. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of this pretend butter spray. There's no pooling going on. I thought there'd be pooling like right in that spot right there. It's not really drying out either. I put a little bit of a water pan in also. But yeah, this is probably good. Now the internal temp of this is about 138 right now. So I'm just gonna let it keep going. Uh, so just so I remember, Put it on at 4.30 p.m. Right now it's, uh, it's like 9.45ish. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do probably tonight is just check on the charcoal, see if I need to add some more in the hopper. Other than that, I'll just see you tomorrow morning. Hey, 7 a.m. Uh, brisket's right about 160. 
take a look, see how it's going. And then we'll probably uh, up the temp a little bit here. That is looking amazing. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything with it. Yeah, so we're just gonna bump the temp up to like 225 or so. And uh, we'll check in in another couple hours. All right guys, we are probing at 195. Let's go ahead and take this out, wrap it up, and let it rest. All right, so this is the no wrap method. You don't wrap it when you're cooking it. But then you wrap it at 195 and let it rest at least three or four hours. Get out of here, fly. So put this bad boy in the cooler with some towels and we'll see you guys in a few hours. All right guys, this has been resting about three hours. I was gonna try to let it rest for about four, but it's getting real close to dinner time and I wanna cut this up and also get started uh, editing the video. So let's get this guy out of the cooler and take a look. All right, this thing looks amazing. All right, let's just start cutting into it. what we got. Very nice. Need a bigger cutting board. So I'll tell you right off the bat, this top bark is pretty tough. Very nice. Let's take one from here. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little tough. I mean, yeah, they're uh, they're a little thick, but it's um, yeah, it's a little tough. All right, let's go ahead and take a bite. Yeah, tough. Tastes really good. Yeah, I should let it rest a little longer. Or, I pulled it off about 195. Probably could go a little longer than that. Tastes really good though, just salt and pepper. So the point, I'm gonna wrap up. I'm not gonna eat all this today. I'm gonna keep the point just together so that everything stays moist. If you cut them up and then put them away, you're probably gonna dry them out. So I'll wrap that guy up nice and tight, put him in the fridge. If I heat him up in the oven in a day or two. Um, yeah, and these, uh, these pieces from the flat, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep eating those. But. Anyway, no wrap brisket. What happened? Should I have gone longer? 
It's definitely not as tender as I wanted it to be. It does seem like everything rendered down nice, though. And it does taste really good. So you let me know in the comments what you think. Are you going to try a no-wrap brisket? See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.